بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters, we come to you with a very important reminder a reminder that I hope would affect an impact upon your mind and your spirit and your heart especially for you brothers and you younger brothers but it is inclusive of everyone in the ummah and that is this is the blessed month of Ramadan. And the Prophet mentions, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if Ramadan comes, when it comes, Tuftahu Abawab Ar Rahma, that the doors of mercy are opened. Another narration said that the doors of Al Jannah are opened. And Allah sends a Munadi, a caller from the Malaika at the beginning of Ramadan, and he says, Ya Bari al Khair, Akbil. Oh, you person that wants to do good, come and do good. This is the time to get your good on. And old oh, person, you person wants to do evil, then stop doing that evil. This is the month and the time to discard and to abandon bad behavior, bad habits. This is a tremendous month, the month of Rahmah. From the Rahmah of Allah in this month, is the Salat of At-Taraweeh. It is a tremendous prayer in Al-Islam. And what shows its importance is the fact that the Prophet did it, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He came out to pray one night in Ramadan, and then his companions witnessed that. A few of them prayed behind him. When the news spread, more people came out the second night. When the news spread, the community came out in droves. On the fourth night, the masjid was packed out. Packed out. Because the companions, they were harisim, ala khair. They used to try to get the good. Prophet Muhammad didn't come back out. And the next day at Fajr, he said, I knew that you people were going to come out, but I didn't come out because I was afraid it would become wajib upon you. And this is a manifestation of the rahmah of Allah and the rahmah of the Prophet on our community, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in the blessed month of Ramadan. Anyway, the taraweeh prayer is a prayer that the Prophet did. It's from his sunnah. And he told us, مَا يُقَرِّبُكُمْ إِلَى شَيْءٍ إِلَّا مَا يُقَرِّبُكُمْ شَيْءٍ إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ إِلَّا أَمُرْتُكُمْ بِهِ There is nothing, no thing in existence that will cause you people to come close to the Jannah, except that I told you to do it. And he told us to do this salat. Man qama ramadana imanan wa ihtisaba ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambihi. Anyone who prays in the month of Ramadan with iman and seeking his reward for Allah from Allah, he will be forgiven for his previous sins. He said in another hadith, Man qama laylat al-qadr imanan wa ihtisaban. Anyone who stands up to pray and it's the night of Laylatul Qadr, he will be forgiven. Taraweeh has tremendous benefits. But there is one benefit in, in particular that I want to share with you. This is critical. It's not just Taraweeh, but especially Taraweeh. The Prophet mentions, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in al abde the qama yusalli, if the slave, man or woman, if they get up to perform prayer, whether it's wajib prayer, sunnah prayer, anytime he gets up to pray the salat, his mistakes, his dhunub, his sins are bought. They're bought forth. They are brought forth. They are placed on his head or on his shoulders. Every time he makes rukur, they fall off of his shoulder or his head. Every time he prostrates, they fall off of his shoulder, off of his head. So we're praying the Taraweeh. We're doing 11 rakats in my masjid. Some people may be doing 20. If you're doing 11 rakat, that's 22 sajdas in every single rakat, all together, all together, 11 rakat. So I encourage you, come and join the people in Salat al Taraweeh so that you will make these sajdas and that you will make these rukur. And the more that you do, your sins will fall off. And if you are an imam or you're leading the people in the prayer, especially in the masajid where they're not necessarily reading the whole juz of the Quran. It's short. 
like what we do in Masjid al-Rahmah. We read about a third of the Quran for the whole of Ramadan, so it's not heavy at all. The prayer is khatifa. We encourage our imams and any imam who leads a people in prayer, prolong the prostration, the sajda, prolong the rukur, the bowing, to a time that is appropriate for your congregation. Don't make it too long, but prolong it and give us the musalloon behind you. Give us an opportunity to have our sins fall off of us. Not to mention, when you walk to the masjid, with every right step, a hasana is written. With every left step, a sayyah is taken off. Not to mention, when you make wudu, whenever you make wudu, the water that falls off of your body parts, your sins fall off along with them. Not to mention that when you pray the five prayers from one prayer to the next prayer, from one Ramadan to the next Ramadan, all of your sins are forgiven. As-salawatul khams, wal-jum'atu ila al-jum'at, wa ramadanu ila ramadan mukaffiratun lima baynahunna, idha jtuni batil kabair. Between the five prayers when you make them, from one Friday to the next Friday, Juma, from Ramadan to the next Ramadan is an expiation for your sins if you avoid the major sins. All of these are examples and opportunities showing making the Salat of At-Taraweeh, Ya Akhi Abdullah, Ya Amatullah, Ya Ummat al-Islam is something that is extremely beneficial. So I pray to Allah Ta'ala that you get with the program. Barakallahu feekum wa ahsanallahi ilaykum wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.